So these are the latest news about DS925 and they have released it in Asia, in Africa and uh, Australia. This model is scheduled to be released in Europe and America uh, first week of May. If you want to see a full list where this NAS is available to buy today, this is the list. So here's the price, how much is going to cost empty and how much is going to cost pre-populated with Synology hard drives. So it starts around £500 and it goes up to £1,600. You can read more about the prices on financesigner.com. They go through the prices and the features as well. As you already know, it's going to come with 2.5 gig ports at the back. It's still going to have those M.2 slots at the bottom and it will also have ECC 4 gigabyte memory. The network speed is reduced to 522 megabytes a second because it only has two 2.5 gig ports. The previous model could be upgraded to 10 gigabit port plus 1 gigabit. And yes, this model only allows Synology drives at this point. If you want to find those DS925 product pages, you can go and find them. They are live now. This is also where you will find them proudly introducing 2.5 gigabit ports and forgetting about 10 gigabit upgrade removal. It allows expansion unit to be connected to it and uh, Therefore, you can go up to 180 terabytes in total of storage using Snowgy drives. You could go even higher if third-party drives were allowed. So the front hasn't changed at all. It still comes with this slow USB 3 port, which only supports up to 500 megabytes a second speed. As you know, new USB 4 standards allow 40 gigabit per second bandwidth. There's also another USB port at the back, which is also only 5 gigabit speed. Then there's also USB-C connection for expansion unit if you wanted to add another five drives. And as you can see, there is no upgrade slot for 10 gigabit card. There are only two 2.5 gigabit LAN ports. So that's clearly your bottleneck. At the bottom of the NAS, there are two NVMe slots, the old Gen 3 X2 slots. We will need to check uh, when we get a sample of these NASes if there is any capped speed on these uh, lanes. So usually you can see that those PCIe slots are actually limited, which doesn't take advantage of full performance that modern NVMEs can offer. The spec sheet is also now available to download if you wanted to have a look at the specs and the features that it offers. So here's a confirmation about the CPU. It's going to be having Ryzen V1500B uh, CPU, which is twice as fast as the previous model, even though it's older than the previous models. It comes with only four gigabyte uh, DDR4 memory. Old DDR4, not DDR5, but at least it's ECC error correcting memory. And this is definitely something you'll need to upgrade and they allow upgrades up to 32 gigabytes. So that's two RAM slots that you'll need to install 16 gigabyte RAM modules in those slots. So it also mentions this DX525 expansion unit, which is also now available online to buy. You can either expand existing volume across these extra drives or create separate volumes or separate pools on this expansion unit. But you can only use Synology drives, either Synology hard drives or Synology SSDs. This unit connects through USB port at the back of DS925+. Plus. With this better CPU, it also allows bigger volumes. So it's up to 200 terabytes per volume if you install 32 gigabyte memory. DS923 did not allow that big volume. You can also have more virtual machines compared to DS923. Here's eight virtual machines that you can install. Previously, you could have only four. And obviously, there is also increased number of users you can have on this NAS. Snowgy have also uploaded their carbon footprint, how much uh, carbon is going to be produced to manufacture this uh, NAS and its packaging. If that's something you're interested in, you can have a look. If you go to Knowledge Center and type in DS925, you'll see there are so many things now updated and uploaded for you to look at. So as you can see, DS925 is compatible with Bright Ones and Immutable Snapshots technology, which allows you to store data in a folder and nobody can delete that data for a certain time. Obviously, DS925 also supports uh, volume creation on NVMEs, not just caching, but you can only use Synology SSDs to do that. DS925 also supports volume encryption. So if encrypting a folder is not enough, you can encrypt the entire volume. DS925 will also support object recognition, face recognition, and all those AI features in DS Photos app. 
if you're curious about performance tests that Synology did, here's DS923. They were achieving 1,179 or 39 reads and write speeds. When we look at DS925, those speeds have dropped massively. So now you can have around 500 megabytes a second speed. If your work environment allows SMB multi-channel or link aggregation, Otherwise, you're just limited to 250 megabytes a second if you're lucky. Also, existing RAM modules are now made compatible with this DS925. So that's their ECC DDR4 sodium memory modules. And that's four gigabyte module, eight gigabyte module and 16 gigabyte module. And the most exciting part, compatibility. If you go to compatibility list and choose hard drives, there is no more third party drives allowed, only Synology. The maximum drive you can choose is 20 terabyte. With third party drives, you could choose even bigger drives like 24, 26 terabyte or above. Synology said that they only certify drives that go through 7,000 hour or three months test with every single unit before they add those drives to the whitelist. Okay, regarding compatibility, let's have a look what happens if you do use third party drives. So someone tried this and this is the message they were getting unable to recognize the hard disk. You cannot even install the OS on your NAS if you don't have compatible drives. Same experience was reported from digitalviews.net. So he tried to use WDC drives from his old system. He was actually trying to migrate his drives to a new NAS and all he could see is blinking blue lights. So I think they haven't even sorted out their migration. There was actually a response from Synology and they said they will add third-party drives after they go through the testing. But as we saw, there's no third party um, drop down even available on their compatibility list, which was a lie. They also said you can migrate the drives, which this proves otherwise. Also Android Central already got the hands on their unit. They have made a review and they tried to use third party drives and they were getting this message, unrecognized drives detected. There's actually an option called manually update I think this is the window you can actually use to use your third-party drives. I think this is the file you upload to the system, which updates this compatibility list, which is a text file on the operating system on DSM, which goes through the list and checks if this drive that has been installed will match with a list on that file. So if you're still determined to use your third-party drives, you'll need to explore this manual update option. Otherwise, you'll need to just say goodbye to WD and Seagate and surprisingly Toshiba, even though those Toshiba drives are relabeled as Synology drives. But otherwise, this was just a quick video update on DS925 that it is in fact now released in eastern side of the world. If you want to have a look at the comparison, new versus old, I've made a video DS923 versus DS925. Otherwise, you can go to NAS Compares and look at our other videos. If you want me to talk about something more specific, do let me know, follow the channel and you'll get notification when that video like that comes live. Thank you for watching and see you next time.